はい。あ、um, 俺は素直に布を貸し、かさ、さかし、さかして、切って、取り、かかった。Hi, you were super, super close for this. It's saga, with the god with the voicing. Sagaste, rather than sakaste. Saga, ga, ga. Saga, sagaste. I obediently search for a cloth and came back and began. And began. Right. Hon wa furui mo no bari de. Bakari. I'm sorry. No. Hon wa furui mo no bakari de. Dore mo. Dore mo kabi ga. So, there with a comma insinuates bakari is a noun. Hmm. All, all of the books are old. And Doremo, whichever one, Kabiga, Kabi, Kabi. Kabi means mold. Kabi means mold? Mold. Mold, mold. Uh, whichever one, all of them, have mode growing on on it. Tameshi Tameshi ni itsatsu hirai tara kasa kasa to otoga shita. Tameshi Um, it's not tamashi. Tamashi, hi. Tamashi means soul. Um, tamashi has to do with tamashi like tamashi reading. It means like, um, I told you you could translate this as curiously in this context. Cut. Whoa. Um, I did click that on accident. Um, because tamashi uh, basically means tamashi. figure it out. So curiously, I think it's a good way to translate it in this context. Hi, hi. Uh, your example for for us was ta tameshi yomi hi. to to try to have a Get to have a sample. test read. Hi. So, so to to curious to to take a take a dip in a oh, way so. like <laughs> to open <Take> a peek <laughs> to, to open one volume. Tara. If, 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 not if, when, when, when open one volume to peak, I'm going to use this knee as, as sort of like in, in order to, is that okay? Sure, like, that works great in this context. Yeah, uh, to, 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 to take a, a, a dip. Um, when that happened, the, it made the sound. Otogashita. It made that okay. sound, and the sound is kasa kasa to. Right, which is a crackly sound, kind of like cracking the spine of a book that hasn't been opened in a long time. Hi, a crack. Very dry. Hi. Uh, very dry books. Almost a breaking sound. Okay. Um, nebari ga ura urusa. So, ni urusa so ni um 
こっちを見て顔をしかめたのでその本をそっと閉じて閉じて is to close はい OK あーほこりを拭き取り小棚に戻したはい。Last time you didn't know what うるさい meant, which is an E adjective. Do you know what it means? うるさい。Here is うるさい was an adjective that means annoying. It does mean annoying. Perfect. Here, the E, the E from the adjective drop, leaving behind the stem うるさ。And then it's connect to so ni. So it means looks like it's annoying or yep. annoying like. I annoyingly like uh ni <laughs> Hi. Um Kochio Mite Kao o Shikameta. Shikameta is Mm, it's like messed up, Mess, Hi, messed yep. up. To screw so up gr is the specific word. Can... He screw up his face, so he grimaces, and he looked this way. Kochi. He looked this way with a grimace that looked like he wanted. To say it, it looks like he meant he meant annoying. Yep. Like a look, a look that gives off a meaning. You know, it's very hard to describe this in English. Right. Like this this concept. It is very hard. Um, <laughs> but as long as you know what the sentence is saying, that's what I'm grading, rather than how well you can translate it into a beautiful English sentence. So I can tell I, you know exactly what's going on, so you get a pass. It's great. <laughs> Hi. Um, no, that therefore, so no, hon o so to to chite. Uh, that book close, therefore, I close, I close the book. The book and how do you think he closes but, it? Do you think he like slams it shut or does he softly close it? So to. So to. Softly. So, so, so to. Softly. He, I close the book softly and hokori o fukitori. Fukitori. I'm guessing fukitori is wipe away. Wipe away. Yep, to wipe away. I wipe yep. away the, the dust. And I return it to the bookshelf. Perfect. Modoshita. Here in the, in the past tense. I returned. Right. Yep. Um, All these items happened in the past. Kochi. Chotto. Fuita dake de. With only just and we say fuita is wiping. Hi, to wipe. Fuku. Wipe. Fuku. Hi. With only just a little bit of wipe. No no wa makuro the cloth is or yeah, I think we can say it is. The For now you can, but if you read the full sentence, you would know it was was, because this sentence is in past tense, and the tense in Japanese is at the end of the sentence. Hi. I see. Okay. I'm sure. Ore wa zen. It, 
that does that mean that for uh for someone who who who've been using Japanese for a long time right. that as they read the sentence and new information comes in towards the 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 end of the sentence like their minds naturally understood it it's so weird because well I'm, I'm functioning like from if you think all languages put things in different locations so when someone learns english they think the same thing they're like um why is the object at the end of the sentence if you don't have the object in the beginning then how do you know what's going on with the verb like what's up with this i wake versus i wake up that's confusing so like it just has to do with when the key information is is just at different locations just at different. so just culturally you word things differently um, in general, tensing isn't like super important in language because normally things are tensed in context. You know, you don't normally randomly say sentences in the past and in the current tense. There's normally some kind of context of what you're talking about. So for a while, you can kind of assume like the whole paragraph is basically past tense. Um, in Japanese, it's a little bit different in their writing system just due to how novels are written. But in general, it doesn't like really matter that much past tense versus um current tense only thing that matters is whether what has agreement in your language so in english if one verbs in past tense all verbs in your sentence should be in past tense so like we have a we have a verb agreement rule with past tense um which is not in japanese so it's just like random it's kind of like you know if you say i had 20 cat and I went to the store. That's that sounds disgusting as an English speaker because we're supposed to have agreement and pluralization, but pluralization doesn't really matter in the sentence because it is insinuated mostly by context. You know, like I said yesterday, I went to the store. If you say yesterday I go to the store, you still know what happened in the past because the word yesterday already signified that. Hey, uh, how what? I, I guess my my question is is it's it, like I'm 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 talk, I'm referring to the the comprehensibility of mm. of of the sentence as you read it. So, for example, if I would just to stop reading midway, like if I could just to stop as at a uh, nuno wa makuro, a native speaker when when they stop midway up to that point, there's still some level of comprehensibility in their mm. mind. Right? Yeah. Just like how in English, if I were to stop a, a, a line of thought in, in, in the middle, I would still have 50% comprehensibility. Yeah, same here. Like but, it says the cloth is black or was black. Just the is or the was doesn't really matter. You know, so I, in English as well, when things get dropped, there's still a certain level of understanding and just certain things are not thing like she said i threw and you stop there by english like, what do you throw the ball the cat but you might be able to guess by context if you're talking about balls all day i, I threw pause you go oh the ball or here since we are reading a book that we said already i wiped just a little bit that probably since the story we're talking in the past tense it probably is black though it could be current tense or something depending on how the sentence is worded um Right. See, that's 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 makes sense. So what what so so then what what I start to notice, um, uh, in myself when I was reading was that I I would actually do a two a a two round reading. Like first I would read through the whole sentence, mm. and weirdly enough, I don't understand anything. Then <laughs> I had to read it again, time, and then I I had to break it down into chunks, and so I mm. I feel like. If, it if just I has to do with I learning. If, if when you get too much at once, it is hard to um remember everything. Uh, as much as like where to isolate the information that's important to translate into English. So that definitely makes sense. Cause th these are pretty long sentences. Like we got a lot of clauses, lots right. of things going on. So it's definitely hard to remember. And it's definitely something to train. Um, for me, I'm very I can read a sentence once and basically get it down. But I have a friend called Chris who will read the full paragraph in Japanese and then translate it in English that way. And I'm like, I can't do that. It's like too much for me to remember. But if you were in English, you could totally do that because it's your native language. So everybody has different um, levels that they could stop reading and remember all the bits in their head. 
uh, I'm not at par paragraph level yet. I have to first comprehend the isolated sentence, I guess, and remember past mm -hmm. sentences. <laughs> I see, I see. Okay, wakata. Okay, so here, nuno wa makuro. Ore wa zenshin hokori mamire hokori mamire ni nat natta ga natta ga hai ni naru ni naru ni natta ga um i i i myself was completely smear with dust. Right. So no mama soji o tuzuketa. And like and and in that way I continue to clean. But in that way I continue to clean. I almost would translate that as like a if you want to really Englishify, I'd say almost like I, I continue to clean anyway. Not that the word right. anyway is in the sentence, but that's just as like what the mama is kind of as like a, in this context, it's kind of like what you're saying. It's because there's that ga, that however, and saying the mama is referring to the fact that I'm still covered in dust. So that, right. yeah, that little link there, which anyway, it's not in the Japanese sentence, but that's kind of how you could illustrate that kind of idea in an American English kind of way. So this verb, a lot of times, you will see wadu after it, that kanji, then wadu. Um, what? So it's oete? Yep, oete. From owadu. Because owadu takes ga. Oe はい。終えて現れたベネットがねばりに命令されて下の部屋から魔術の道具が詰まった箱をいくつもいくつも運んできた。ようやく別の、ようやく別の仕事を the 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 remaining work, the Plus, remaining. Yoyaku, it's like a time phrase, basically meaning like the the goal of what we were doing has arrived so finally is normally a fine way to translate it um finally in english has a little bit extra like i've been waiting connotation which yoyaku doesn't actually have but it has the i but it has that second meaning of um that's like the thing you've been waiting for almost like finally my sister came you know like the idea is that you've been waiting for that it's kind of what yoyaku is kind of used I for or you're walking down the path and finally you see the door. It's used in that kind of context. It just doesn't have that extra time connotation that the word finally does in English. Um, so it just means that Khan was basically waiting for Bennett to arawareru and be oetad with his shigoto. Because he probably wants Bennett to do something for him. Mm. So... Uh... Let's just say it's it's uh in the end. In yep. the end, bet shigoto, the other work, the work that is not mine, basically. Right. <laughs> oh meaning it 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 comes to the end. It it right. finish. Arawa Arawareta Beneto Benet who appears this is Bennett in the uh relative clause yep he's the Bennett head of the who clause. appears um nebari ni mere o mere sarete 
uh, Burnett uh, receive the or he was given he was he was made no he he started that so he he was so passive um, is hard to word sometimes what is mayday if it's not passive or uh, order yeah to order so in english sometimes you add b to this end to be ordered so he um, was ordered was ordered by he was ordered by nobody ordered by nobody hi uh sita no heya kara from from the room ma jutsu no dog 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 ga tsumatta hakko o um he brought he brought back a number of boxes uh that was gathered with magical tools or sumata so, not gathered was pack, I packed was packed okay. with magical tools from the floor below or from the rooms below all right perfect okay so we'll start where we new stuff and it looks like you get to go jump right in do you actually remember how to read this kanji it's actually been a while since we've seen it I probably should have did a refresher this is oka in the Hi. tab form, so oi oi te. Perfect. Now let's go read the sentence. Koko ni oi te kure. To. Nebari. Benetto wa hako o. Yuka ni oi te. Nori o tori ni modoru. Hi, can you read this kanji for me again? This word? No, no kori? Hi, no kori, perfect. No, no kori o tori ni modoru. Tori ni? Hi, so tori so, comes from toru. What does toru mean? To take. Hi, hi, hi. So this or is that very common act. grammar thing where you have a physical movement verb like modoru, agaru, iku, all those words that insinuate some kind of physical movement that ni can be used with a second verb in stem form to mean to do this action basically in order to do the second action. He takes in order to return. He returns in order to take. For example, tsuri means the fish, so you can say tsuri ni iku means to go fishing. Ah. Uh, in order to in order to he 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 returned in order to take. Hi. Well, let's start at the beginning. Hi. Koko ni oite kure to nebori. Hi. Koko ni oite kure. To nobody, nobody said. Here, place them for me here. Perfect. Place them here. Um. Benetto wa hako o yuka ni oite. Benet place the box on the floor. No kori o tori ni modoru. And the, the rest he returned to take. Or he, he returned to take the rest 
Yes, perfect. He returned to take the rest. Yes, that is correct. Yep. The reason why you know that is because modori, modoru, and um, means that I modoru, while modosu would be the one that would take o. So modori, by default, can't have anything to do with the nokori o. So that has to be part of the tori. Um, just as a random curiosity, um, um, so kureru, like um, oite kureru. What is the subject of the sentence? Is it going to be veneto or is it going to be nebari? For the koku ni oite kure. It would have to be banet. Correct. Since he's speaking and he's using kure, therefore he's he referring to an action that is done for him. Exactly. Perfect. Um, do you know how to read this word? Chu xin. Chu xin. Which, um, I'm pretty sure this is it's actually me. nakami. Nakami? Yeah, nakami. Nakami, hi. Mid, mid body, right, Moni? Mid section? Yes. Um, that's a really good guess because shin does mean body and naka tends to mean mid when it's in compound words. But naka is the reading going on here with nakami. And this actually means um, contents. For example, oh, in this sentence is referring to a pocketo. It's in the pocketo no nakami, the contents in the pocket. Mm. But so this body is not... Guess. Hi. This not a body, real body. This, this meat here, it's not necessarily... A karada. It's not a karada. It's not my body. It's it's a body of of the object. Hi. Whatever that object. Yep. And and things that have the reading of naka tends to have the meaning of inside as opposed to middle. Yes, I would say that. Yeah. For example, nakama, or your comrades, or nakayoku. Which is not the naka from um middle of the Saxon kanji, but they're kind of like related. Um, those aren't really like within. It's not really with again in the group. You're in the in group. You get along well, getting in with each other. Um, yeah, those are bad examples. Do you know what nozoku means? Nozoku to peak. Hi. How about niramu? Niramu. Niramu is to glare at someone. Hi. And what does niseru mean when it's with te form? To show the Perfect. action. Perfect. Nice. So uh, let's go read the line from the book. Ore wa. Hako no nakami o nozoki ni ita. Good. I go in order to have a look, or no, in order to take a peek of the content of the box. And what tense is the sentence in? Past tense. I went. Perfect. I went take a peek at the content of the box. Perfect. And do you know what futa means? Futa o aketa shunkan Ah, it's a lid. Hi, a lid. Perfect. How about watasu? Think... Mani, is, is yeah? the pig also futa? Buta. Ba, it ba, is? Ba. Buta. buta. Right. I keep thinking for some reason. Well, it's 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 the difference is voicing, right? Buta. Uh, buta. Pig. Buta. Futa. Hi. 
this here is watasu. Watasu. Ni utatsu to mo watasu. Kaban o. Kaban, kaban. Kaban. Oh, bag, bags. Kaban mm -hmm. o futa o mo watasu. Is what I see is to hand it over in this context? To yes. hand over. Yep, to hand over. What that's it. What that's it literally mm -hmm. means to cross, as in like to cross over. So to hand something over means you're crossing it over to the other side of where that person is. You're handing it over to them. It's also used, for example, when a boat crosses from one shore to another shore. That is also what that's it. So it kind of makes sense if you think but, about it. Ferries are passing passengers from one side of the island to the other continent, <laughs> right? You're passing the people over. What that's it. Right. Right. So he um, passed the two, two of the bags together. Right. And Pass Tomo lets you know there's only two bags total. I passed both of the two bags over. I see. Now, if they use the counter for three, like Mitsu Tomo, right. then it would mean there's a total of three bags in total. Yeah. That's And that's nothing remained. No, there's no no Kori left. Right. Versus if we just said Futatsu, right. that could theoretically insinuate maybe you had a third bag, but you handed two of them over. Um, But the Tomo makes it feel like it's both two bags, so it's no more bags left. Okay. Hi. Nebari, nebari wa hako no futta o tsugi tsugi to ake, 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 ake. Um, nebari opens the lid of the box. Hi. Here the action is described as zugi, 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 zugi. Tsugi tsugi is written like an automatopedia, and grammatically it does work very much like one. However, officially this does have kanji, as it's like doki doki. Uh, sorry, toki doki. Tsugi tsugi comes from tsugi, which means next. So tsugi tsugi means one by one. So in other words, he opens each box one by one, because he's getting multiple boxes here. So he's opened multiple boxes lids. Hi. Tsugi tsugi, one by one. Sore so, sore zore no. Hako kara. Ue no ho no. Dogu dake o tori dashi. So tori dasu. Sorry, tori dasu. So this dasu is the suffix for start taking yeah it, it can mean that in this context of dasu with to, like tori dasu it tends to mean um to take out to make the things appear from when it was in the box into the real world to take out tori dasu tori dasu um in general deru means to start and dasu um means to take out because dasu is the Takes all and Deru takes ga. Right. So then, here Wait, he no, says, sore zo. Furi dasu. <laughs> Furi dasu means rain starts to Never mind that ga thing I said earlier. It depends on context. Depends on this verb. <laughs> so here it still means take out. It means take out, yes. So you just have to know the verb. <laughs> Money, what is sore zore? Sore zore means um each basically. Each one. Each. Sore zore. Each each one. Just like tugi tugi. Each one of getting that and that. That and that. That and that. Right. 
instead of raising the so in English we can say that and that we raise our tones. Mm. They use the go, use the ten ten. They use the so, the, so. the voice. So so and so. Um. So each of the box. From each of the box. We know Hono. Dogu dakeo. He take out. He takes out only. The tools. That are on the top of each of the box. Hi. So here ho, you could ho, use bakari if you wanted to. In this case, either would work. Um. This is like a random note since since I've never read it. So Daki can use both bakari. This is one of those cases you could um, replace. Bakari would make um Khan sound like he's a little bit annoyed, I would say. <laughs> they use that here. Mani, what do you think is the connotation of this whole? Usually this whole I I what I understood it to mean was in the direction of Yeah. Of, no, so like on on on. So the this box has um uh, apparently multiple layers, in here. Maybe it's if if you've ever seen like a chest of drawers. Sometimes they have like a a like tray in them. So I would say he's probably Hi. taking out like a tray thing since he's from the box. He's taking off the taking out just the duels on the top area. So hole is basically used as that is that area meaning because it means direction but it doesn't need to mean left or right kind of like when you say yori and hole you know like that's bigger than something else that is the it's saying that on the direction on the side right on the side of where that object is that object is bigger than the other side it's being compared to so hole is like interesting in that so it just means the area basically of ue so Money in this case is it? Area. Uh, ignore my trade thing. So probably not relevant. Ue no ho. Ue no ho and not jo no ho, right, Money? It's it's it's, it's sometimes like the the. Hi. Um, jo is the reading that is when it's married. Um, like uh, chi 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 jo. Which is above ground, right? So ue is how it's read when it's not married, and then there's also their special kanji um, verb readings, like sagaru, agaru. <laughs> I don't know what the special reading for up is, but there is one. I'm pretty sure. Hi, wakata. Ore ni watashita. He handed over to me. Yeah, what did he hand over to him? The top, the tools that are from the top section of right, each right. of the box. Yep. So from each of the boxes, he takes off the top tools, just those top tools, and gives them to me. He what does it? Perfect. Uh, this is great. Um, so this is a hard one. This to me from to me kasanate do. Do you remember what this means? If you know kasanate do, you probably will know to me from to me. To me, to me, kasanate iru. Kasanaru. Yeah, kasanaru is the verb. It has this kanji. To, 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 to place on to, to stack yes to stack to pile up to me and kasanaru both mean to pile up to stack so when you got both of them it means the super duper stack to me so this right here is that me. same kanji to me but now we have rendaku any idea how to read this word Rendaku, that means this is yama, yamazumi. Yep. Yama, yamazumi. Any idea what yamazumi might mean? 
I think this is a pretty easy one to guess. A s mountain of s it is of stuff pile a, a pile a pile a mound a huge some kind of big ass pile. You got stuff stacked together so that you have a mountain. Um, and this, of course, Hi. is a noun. So a mountain of stuff. Hi. So it started with yama. Mount what did it end with? Start with Yama. What did it end with? Um, yama. Mm -hmm. Yama to me. Perfect. Yama to yama me. Now let's go read our example sentence. Machutsushi wa Nuno o Yamazumi ni shita. Hi, this is very similar to ni naru, um, but we you do ni shita. In case you got confused. Similar to ni naru, similar to ni shita. So the magician piles. Yes, the, the magician, magician piles the... what into a mountain. Right. He piles the cloth into a mountain. Exactly. Yep. So Sudu just shows intent, while Naru tends to not show intent. That's the only difference between ni Sudu and ni Naru. Um, so it's kind of like this one's gone, this one's old, almost. Uh, so yep, to pile to. The magician makes a mountain out of um, cloth. So let's go read the sentence. Ore wa soi tsu o doa no soba ni yamazumi ni shita. What is Khan doing? I pile them into a ma I pile I I I stack the I stack them so it's to those right. things I stack them by the side of the door doa no soba ni into Perfect. Yep, yeah, I packed those guys uh, into a huge mound next to the door. Um, do you remember how to read this verb? It means to wrap. Tsutsumu. Perfect. And what's the passive form of tsutsumu? Tsutsumareru. Perfect. To to be wrapped. Um, do, 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 do. since you already know the verb, I'm not going to do that. Um, can you read this for me? Gen iro no kami. Hi, gen iro no kami. What does that mean? Aluminum foil. Probably. Specifically, aluminum foil is this word right here. Which is um what but that is what this was in this context. It was paper that is the color of silver, which is normally aluminum foil, which is what this word most likely also means. Um any idea how to read this word? Gin Gin and um ki ki kimi. Kimi is the single reading, so of this, the of paper is it Kimi money? Paper is Kami. Kami. And do we do anything Gen else kami? here? It's a uh, gin gami. Gen. Gin gami. I should actually double check that because things can be weird when you have ends. Yep, it's gami. Phew. <laughs> I was like, I'm Kami. sure. Yep. So pay, 
paper and God are similar sounds. Kami yes. Kami hair. Kami God. Kami paper. Ah. Uh, Kami is paper. Kami can be hair or Kami can be a god. Hi. And Kami theoretically could be the stem form of to bite as well. Um, these all have different awesome. married readings. I'm not sure what hair is, but for example, Sheen is the married reading for um God. You'll see that with like words. But I'm not sure what the married Hi. reading of the other ones are. Yeah. Lots of words can mean kami. So definitely important to look at that kanji. Um, this is probably our last line of the day. Hi. Sono ato nebari wa saisho ni futa o aketa hako kara gen gami ni susumareta dogu o hitotsu toridashi. Tsutsumiyo hiraita. Hirai is to open. Perfect. It is to open. Um, can you do me a favor and read this for me? Gin. Hi, gin. So that's how that is read. That is gin. Um, you've been reading it it's a little bit like gen, like genji, like genki. So I just want to point it out. Gin. Hi, gin. Gin gami. Sono ato after that. Nebari wa saisho ni. Saisho is the very end. Saisho is the, the very last. beginning. Saigo oh. is the end. It's hard because we haven't seen on the show kanji that much. I think we saw show nichi. Um, awesome at the first day. Right. So at the beginning. Uta o aketa hako kara, the box that was open, the box who's, who had the lid open, from that, gingen, uh, gingen, gin, gin gami ni tsutsum mareta dogu o hitotsu toridashi. He take out one tools that was wrapped in paper foil Hi. from the box with the lid open. When was this box? Which box is he taking out? Remember, he opened a lot of different boxes earlier, giving Khan whenever we got Sore Zore no Hako and Tsuki Tsuki was used. So we know nobody opened a bunch of boxes and was taking stuff out. Which box is he? Did he take out this tool that was wrapped in aluminum foil or or silver paper? So here it's a shai sai sai sho ni. Hi. So the first box. Yes, the, the first box he the, opened. So he's gone back to the first box. Hi. So he tori dashi. And then he haraita susumi or haraita. He removes the wrapping. Yep. Perfect. And we'll find out what it is that he took out of the wrapping next time we meet. Man is he yeah. also wipe? 